insurance company. He's going to talk to us about Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, and I'm as interested as you are to learn exactly what this is, but uh, here's James Slava, so let's have, let's have a round of applause. Central banks and regulators and exchanges and 
and uh, obviously a lot of the different And uh, one of the big drivers for that uh, that has occurred for me for for the community thing. You're taking the community of the period and really was uh, addressing some of the issues that uh, so so if you do what there uh, one thing that you'll have been noticing is that um, there is a tremendous uh, community I think it's thousand individuals between thirty or forty thousand individuals that are worldwide were very collaborative. Um, as I would say, well, as I would say, we only have 200 people internally, and I would say we probably have six or seven hundred people on our personal class. Not that we're trying to hide. Again, it's not that we're trying to hide what we're doing. We're really sharing and trying to be as collaborative as possible. So not this phenomenal, you know, uh, group where people are collaborating. Um, maybe as opposed to looking at a lot of different issues at this point. Uh, and, and you know, you should have a huge site, a huge site in China. I, I spoke at a uh, conference in China where um, Bitcoin is for uh, Bitcoin, and you know, several of the, the analysts uh, basically said it's amazing how exciting it is to go to an Ethereum. Uh, so I encourage you guys to go to the other Daniel, or that we have in September of this year. We have this modern community. We have, community. We have a lot of innovation going on. We have a uh, tremendous amount of uh, you know, enterprises that are building building blocks. Uh, so, market, uh, in terms of the market, the VHP building. From the, the largest mining company in the world, we actually have a, a live introduction uh, uh, system that they are uh, uh, there. Um, basically, they're drilling, drilling cores, so it basically protects uh, assets of theirs that are in dollars and value. Uh, you and uh, you also have uh, groups such as JP Morgan, who um, they uh, they. They basically said, I really like Ethereum, but there's a couple of components in there that I need to address. And so this is our own Insta plugin. This is our own Insta plugin into uh, the Ethereum. And uh, in really support, uh, we're not a shop, so the uh, development shop. So we they provided that as an open source to to the community. And then, um, and then, um, and then another kind of notable one would be just the uh, Central Direct has been uh, already moving payments within their subsidy uh, within between their groups within Spain and uh, Spain and now they're um, basically working with other institutions uh, to do the same thing uh, outside of their own their own. So, you know, essentially, what, you know, what is uh, the enterprise of the Alliance trying to do? It's basically we're looking to take what's going on within the public area, optimize it for the The two biggest things that you always hear are that we there's a scalability. There's a scalability that they, they need to address. We want to be able to develop, um, look at all of the different consensus, uh, consensus, consensus mechanisms so that they can actually onboard their market participants much easier. Uh, and as well as the base we being able to transaction with a counterparty who doesn't want to also be able to see it. So basically, obviously, uh, the, uh, the data to, to other participants. So that's an issue. That's um, essentially what um, the EDA is can be accomplished as an optimal set standards for for the Ethereum market. Oh, do they know? Oh, 
do they know where if R3, which is a banking consortium, they were creating any models. They want to build a brand new product for the cost. And similar to, let's say, um, with IBM and Hypervedge, I've done. What the EDA is looking to do, what the EDA is looking to do, that everybody to set standards so that everybody can build from there. So uh, it's not. You won't, the, you, know, you won't be looking at EA2 to basically say, here are the products that were now conditionally in or you utilize these. It's much more of a collaborator. We're at the last of collaborator here and saying, here, make this either faster. How can we make this either faster? How can we make the data more secure um, amongst our own you know, uh, participants? Call it, uh, uh, participants. And so, yeah. and so, uh, you know, but it, and here's a, um, the slide is just basically showing how we help with how many minutes. We obviously have some massive institutions there that uh, have been doing tremendous work uh, with Microsoft, extremely close to Microsoft, who we really used to watch as a service event a couple of years ago. And, you know, as I said, it sent them there and did work in. These institutions have already been building and doing a lot of work in obviously blockchain space and obviously specifically to to Ethereum. Or that's another point that uh, or yeah, point that uh, that we looked at is it's an organization. It's not just an organization that gets a lot of people to that we're not, we're not in this for the membership meetings. It's, it's really more to get into what is going on and what is going on in the uh, ecosystem. Uh, you know, and take advantage of a lot of the innovation in the community area. And so, so, I'm just a very uh, the timeline of the EDA, um, we, uh, we basically need the addition of the back end um, at DEF CON 2 in Shanghai. For the, uh, the, 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 the following future, we, we basically started to put this together and, and ask lots of our, our, our clients with enterprises that we work with. Um, Basically, what they would do. We basically had a public uh, release uh, last Friday, where it was, uh, I would say, it was, uh, I would say extremely successful in, in a couple of different aspects. One is obviously the, uh, the, 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 uh, the different funding members, you know, three. The marketplace reflected it where as the triple or the quadruple just at a time. Could have been just at a time. In a sense, what is it saying? Market is the ecosystem is looking at this and saying smart contracts, we like the big community, and now you have. The financial resources and just the implementation resources that get pressed on to really big, really strong force for very few teams. You know, now what we're doing is we are um, speaking with a tremendous amount of different. Um, well as fintech uh, and other um, type of uh, technology companies in which I first involved within the blockchain space uh, in either doing development to uh, you know, or programmers or having their own applications that they're trying to get to uh, uh, um, so, and I would say, you know, the biggest thing that I would for tonight for for tonight for for tonight for 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 for
that you need to do a right? So it's not to come to a point where this is how the consensus algorithm is to be more It is the more facilitate yourself, you know, be able to choose which is which is that's just your, your application. Um, and that's now, uh, Ethereum itself, the uh, whole theory I'm not seeing um, is really both one from the proof of work to today. And we'll, we'll see you know, the first part of that in, in the next uh, six to seven months. So, um, so Ethereum itself, we will be looking towards a new uh, sense of time. And, and just a related question on the um, so as far as the alliance goes, is it is the expectation is that the alliance will influence what happens in the public blockchain and, and vice versa? Or, I'm, or, sorry. Or, I, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't hear you. The, the question was, is do you expect that the alliance will actually influence what happens in, on the roadmap and on the public blockchain? It's so. It's so so, so absolutely, the way will stay compatible with the public. With the public. So, so um, that you know, that means that there, you know, so on the consensus algorithm side of things, being private will be able to just run those type of things out. There is, um, that there is, um, and, and the like, consensus we're already doing this where uh, we make it. We may build an application that's on a private instance of Ethereum, but it will pulls certain uh, information from a, a from the public. So, so it will you know, basically make sure that it can't go back and forth. Uh, right. So, uh, so, so, so it, 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 it's not to say that it uh, EDA would adopt uh, uh, the proof of stake, but uh, that may be another. Uh, to, be to be able to be able to fall to the, the, the public chain. Um, there's a, um, there's a, a question in the chat. There's a lot of uh, people talking about the, um, actually the competitive advantage of decentralized organizations. And in the um, enterprise uh, Ethereum Alliance, we have a lot of very traditional centralized companies, financial institutions that could be disrupted by um, Ethereum technology. How do um, members like JP Morgan or, um, or Santander uh, plan to compete with decentralized organizations that may be able to provide services um, for less expense to the consumer or um, with less inconveniences, like having to wait five days for your money to be transferred, or having to pay high fees on, on transfers um, between currencies and things like that. Great. Uh, great. Uh, well, the, so the, the interesting part there is there are obviously some of the leaders in doing that, and they're actually working on that thing. We're working on that thing, so, uh, you know, uh, you know, they're the leaders in pushing that forward. So then, so then, and for most of these institutions, they see this as a way to be your parenthetically reduce their, their cost of different, because of different efficiencies that they're going to gain by, um, by utilizing the blockchain. Um, I would say that, say, so the one, so, so there's that part of the efficiency side. The inside is much farther off into the future, or at least it's in their eyes it is. It's more of, um, I think they're thinking of this as they're going to get humans from it, if it's on the by knowing this now, technology now, versus letting the right now build up around us without that guys actually understanding that, um, that they can be a part of that. You know, right? Uh, you know, right? Uh, and it, you know, it, it, it does sound a little from the ground. Yet, if you look at how they have, they, they, obviously, you know, obviously, the one that contributes to the open source and the deep and to all of it, and then, uh, and even um, within the EPA, collaborate with me, they could work for me, working on 
on a drive film concept is going to allow us to really want to explore this much further. So, so there may be a disruption. There may be a disruption. They may feel that they are going to be part of this. Uh, I do. Uh, I do. Need, I remember seeing uh, the ex the ex CEO of Barclays to get us that we uh, get up with uh, the blockchain that we are working with by the and, and I think that that and, and I think that that's part of their. They can see that they, they can see that as they're having to hit their corporate temperament. That's something that's very enticing. Uh, would you comment on the, one of the most successful ICOs, Cosmos by Jake Wan, and, uh, and uh, its uh, possible, uh, let's say, development in the enterprise world? Uh, meaning, uh, would there be very specific use cases for specific blockchains and uh, how would that be? So, so I'm a little bit of a contrarian. Uh, I guess it, you know, the excitement of all uh, the different ICOs uh, uh, So over these last few years, uh, something I was referencing a little bit earlier about uh, just the, uh, the you know the you know basically the, the network of that you know, you have Ethereum, you have a massive developer team, and you have a tremendous amount of enterprises putting resources to, to build it on it, in order to be building on a uh, you know, building problem. As a consensus, as there are needed to run into very large institutions that, that come to us and say, oh, we get this on Ethereum. And, uh, you know, so there's a tremendous amount of development going on that you know, we, don't, we don't know about. And, and what I look at is if there, there's anything that is you know, just foundation, foundation, um, the talent and the foundation are happy to, are happy to they're, they're not, uh, uh, they're not stuck in their ways. The innovation? The innovation. And, and I would say things like that, you know, different things like that that come out are, are more likely to be, would more likely be rolled up into Ethereum versus saying, okay, here's a new blockchain where I just want to work out just that blockchain. And, and, and the other reason for that is you know, we almost look at it as a little kind of education set to solve this one thing versus this other part. You're you're putting a band-aid solution rather than rather than an open platform, real contracts and building a lot of that functionality. Now you have a way. And now you have a way to to uh, you know really you know really have the system grow with and block and thing like that. So I so I I look at the I feel not been things like that where uh, it's not at a, a Protocol layer that I guess I would say that can't take advantage, can't take advantage of, of this the community, of the community and enterprise to put it back. Then, uh, then, uh, 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 so if I, you know, I don't think we're going to be in a separate, uh, separate, uh, separate. We have a question back here. We have a question back here. Can you hear me? I'll repeat it. 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 Has there, has there been new members joining since the initial announcement of the EEA? Yes. Yes. <laughs> who, would they, um, who would they be? They would they go to a conference called the consensus in New York next month. Uh, and we'll be releasing all of the new members uh, that have joined up. It, it, it'll, it'll be a, a fairly exciting, uh, exciting list, exciting list. And, 
that I can say is it doesn't cover them. Can you provide some quick details on the conference? When it's going to be? Um, um, I think it's May 22nd through the 24th in New York. Um, I have a question. I have a question. Did I hear you say that EDA would release their code to open source, back to open source, or no? Or oh, to oh, Including like the, including like the flowable consensus. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is like a project where it's in the old and mental institutions that create that space uh, at all. We have a question here. We have a question here. Can we provide, can we provide an example of the financial services of uh, the EA sponsor production application? So, so we need to have a production application in February 28th of this year. So, yeah, yeah, it's a death blow. But, but probably the biggest one to point to right now is the investment there to work for the top four things. Uh, there were there were there were the union has uh the internal right that the the uh the uh we have a couple of uh other bank sizes the bank size of what's uh um so uh so uh sounds like it sounds like the EA is doing uh you know, providing providing all the protocols to do a lot of it. Private teams that are change that will be interacting, interacting with the public chain of Ethereum. How do you think that, will, think that will, will affect uh, uh, Ether's price in the near term and also the long term? Uh, 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 so, we can already say this in the short term. In the short term, we can see lots and lots of. Massive institutions that are, that are looking at the looking at Ethereum, using Ethereum, publishing on this is is you know obviously work groundwork for uh, you know you know what global um, as we continue to develop and more and more more uh, game size uh, the platform is our priority. So uh, I, I, I just look at both of them on helping validate the other and right, and, and, right. You can have the uh the current says like the that you can make right in the art community so that keep growing. And then you have the 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 enterprise price side thing where where you know almost validates uh even from the community, and then you get the students that, 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 have, the that have the numbers. You know, I, you know, I, I, I think it's pretty tough if you were to just create a little bit of a killer app right now, people that actually, people that actually have a cryptographic wallet and actually use that, actually use that app. So, so you you basically you know, the enterprise they start they start adopting the apps uh, it really helps people. <laughs> Um, so, um, so during your during slide, your slide you denied me the third of the third glass of the last year. You expressed that, expressed that, um, um, was expressed that, was expressed that, that, was that, 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 Enterprise, the enterprise is very mild and developing that all the data that we're trying to store, trying to store, trying to store, trying to comply with the existing regulations, regulations, versus EA, trying to EA, trying to make a progressive change, progressive change, and like the light, 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 the light,
I I apologize. Thank you for really quick. I'll, I'll try. I'll try to repeat. I couldn't think about any of those. I'll try. I'll, I'll try to repeat. So so I, I, so I, I think the question, question was, um, um, is is the EA, the EA uh, more uh, interested more interested in extending, extending the regulation to accommodate, to accommodate the theory of or or to to accommodate the theory to existing regulation? I think, is that basically your question? I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> um, um, okay, okay. Oh, that's interesting. Um, what, I would, what I would say is that we're not uh, either, either, side, either side, I would say, of the majority in general or for TDA are making exchange speculations. Um, right, right, we're just basically numbers of salvages. So, so we're not going to change it. The, the interesting part, though, is I, I, I speak with a lot of different regulators. It is, it is um, um, they're very excited because the, the applications that we work on, so what we just did, that they regulate. And so, and so just, imagine, just imagine the regular schools are worried about having to be, having to be so reactive to the point or not being able to see all the success of this. And now, and now they're, 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 they the regulators will probably become a little bit, a little bit more like, proactive in, in what they're doing. And, and, and the interesting part is alcohol, uh, all the different types of transportation that we work on, really, really, cost me expense for a hearing. And so, and so it, 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 it kind of lowers the PLR. Institutions that can afford to make the threat numbers to the regular regulator. And it's hard which which you know, may not be able to afford that. So, so I, would say, I would say we're not really looking to change. Uh, it's more, I think, that the future will enable the regulator to actually do the thing also help about. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, a slightly different aspect on the legal side regarding smart contracts. Your thoughts on who code is law? Yeah. Yeah. I I I had a very interesting conversation with the. Um, I'm going to the CFTC about this. And, and uh, he asked me, what can we do <laughs> to help? And, and, uh, and it, was, it was essentially that. You know, you can just imagine if they took the types of smart contracts yeah. and will this swap transaction actually be a part of the transaction? You know, so. Yeah, that is definitely the key coming to the forefront in, in long term jurisdictions. I, I do believe that it, it, things like the stance that is going forward is that just, just be referenced as a legal contract. So, so it, 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 and I think also from so many different enterprises, all these companies are kind of government. And, uh, it's already given to the legitimacy that, that, uh, that, that this is a technology that should be, or at least should be considered dangerous. You know, I, know, I think it was uh, a couple of days ago, even the uh, Russian just changed their stance where uh, you know, uh, were you know, dealing with the, the, the cryptographic assets in the Bitcoin and now a lot of Russia has just released that they're. Uh, into this so, so I, I would say if you look at the legal contract, you know, legal contract, you know, yeah, I think you think that code will be blocked. 
And, and, uh, and if you go to Twitter, there's something pretty good looking at um, lots, lots of different initiatives uh, within the blockchain space. Uh, uh, you know, messaging uh, and first version of documentation. And, and obviously, that, that to that point, uh, is still a lot of In your opinion, what were the factors behind the Bitcoin ETF rejection? What is, what is the likelihood of uh, Ethereum launching the group? You know, I, 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 don't, I don't know as well uh, why it was uh, I think, uh, uh, why the ETF was rejected. We are very surprised in different types of points. I used to um, uh, create different structured products by the business on the uh, uh, lots of the exchange. A lot of different jurisdictions you know, that, that, that would put these type of products. So, so I think it's supposed to be um, more of an understanding of how it is. So this is the so, you know, you do have the organizations to see the SEC, uh, now, now the SEC has got more involved. I think um, it, it, it's more than momentum on um, the, the industry is So it is a state for the as well. So maybe it was just a little too new. But I, I don't know what it is. to the room, opening your computer, and trying to get some ether on your computer, and you play some hot contract. And then I have a, I have a speaker for May 25th, I think, so I'll, uh, I'll place that up there. the room. And I want to thank you all for coming, and sorry for the